And now we turn to the G20 presidency, Saudi Arabia. I have a message from the Minister of Health, Dr. Taufik Ibn Fazan Al Rabia. I would like to extend our appreciation to the European Commission colleagues and international organizations for coming together and engaging in this high level pledging marathon. On behalf of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, G20 Presidency, it gives me a great honor to partake in such a tremendous and impactful event. We have suffered grave losses due to this pandemic, but it has also demonstrated our humanity and today is a proof that through our solidarity and commitment, we can fight this pandemic together. In a summit on the 26th of March, G20 leaders have committed to closing this health financing gap and invited all countries, NGOs, and philanthropic organizations to join these efforts. The Global Preparedness Monitoring Board estimated an initial $8 billion to make up for the immediate global health funding shortfalls. As such, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has pledged $500 million and is urging all members and organizations to commit to empowering global solidarity in bridging direct funding gaps. In this event, we must keep in mind the importance of safeguarding everyone's health globally as we face this crisis with catastrophic effects on people's lives and well-being. This pledge is urgently needed to ensure development and deployment of diagnostics, therapeutics, and vaccine globally. The WHO, CIPI, Gavi, FINE, Therapeutics Accelerator, and other renowned organizations will be enabled to provide the support needed to all countries to put this pandemic behind us. In closing, overcoming this crisis requires an urgent and exceptional global response. Our primary responsibility is to ensure that our people are protected from disease and to make all efforts necessary to eliminate it. Thank you. Shukran, shukran, Saudi Arabia.